Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Gemini. So if you're a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Gemini, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Mm -hmm. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. All right. Ten of Cups. Well, this is someone who is seeing you as a wish fulfillment here. They see you as someone who is very curious. Look at the, the Page of Swords and the Fool. They see you as someone who is very curious, who is very... Uh, you have this very adventurous kind of energy about yourself. You're not afraid of taking risks here. This person knows they're going to be very, very happy with you. Look at that. I tried to pick up the card here and what I, I picked up two cards and we have the lovers here. We also have the fool and the magician. So we have three major arcanas. You could be dealing with another Gemini, Aries, Virgo. They see, they see you as a soulmate here. Ten of Cups, the lovers, they see you as a soulmate. This person, for some of you, they see you as someone like you can manifest whatever you want. Of course, you you are the represented by the magician you can manifest whatever you want but for some of you this person sees it, it's this energy of this person sees you like you manifested this connection you made this connection happen you manifested this connection here Or if you want, you can make this connection happen. Wow, look at that. Look at that. What are the chances? For some of you, this is what I'm getting with the eight of cups here. Look at that. Eight and ten of cups, we have the two of cups in the mix. Two of cups is someone like, you know, that's a soulmate. That's mutual love. Empress. This person like, and bottom of the deck is chariot. And on the chariot, we have the emperor sitting. So we have the emperor and the empress here. This person sees you as like the entire package. For some of you, this person is actually, they're very afraid of losing you. This person is genuinely afraid of losing you or they're very afraid. If some sort of fight or argument happened between the both of you in recent times, this person is very afraid that you might leave them behind or you are going to leave them. So it's almost like someone who sees you as this entire package with whom they can be very happy, someone who can manifest whatever they want. So they see you in a very, very good light. And this person, that's the reason why they're very scared or very afraid of losing you. I'm sorry if you can hear the kid cry, crying in the background, not mine. Okay, so yeah. Um, could be dealing with the Taurus Libra. Um, I don't even think that's a kid, that's a baby. Anyways, I'm seeing the sun card suddenly as soon as I heard the baby. Anyways. Uh, yeah, this person sees you as like someone, of course, the empress, the son, that can represent pregnancy. For some of you, this person knows that if they have kids with you, the kids are going to be in very good hands. They are going to be in very good hands. The kids are going to be very good hands. This person, like, this is like the best possible light someone can see you. But somehow this person is afraid that you are too good. You're too good for them. You are out of the league or you're too good for them. And that's the reason why this person could be afraid of losing you. Afraid that all, all of this is way too good for them to, to be happening to them. Like, how is something so good happening to me? Good things don't happen to me. That, that's the kind of energy this person could be uh, in right now. Or it's very possible this person in general is a pessimistic kind of a person. So since this is happening in their life, they are like, they are shook. That something so good can happen.
Also on the Ten of Cups, we have the kids playing in the traditional right away. Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see, what did I say? I did see the Sun card. The Sun in reverse. And the Two of Cups. We already have the Two of Cups energy. This person has very deep feelings for you. They see you as a soulmate. They, they see you as someone with whom they can be very happy. But somehow with the Sun in reverse, this person is someone who is feeling very... They can't convince themselves that they deserve this kind of happiness or they have manifested this kind of happiness. Like, they don't feel, this person feels like, I don't know where, where, how I manifested this or like how this is happening, but this is all too good for me. That could be one of the reasons why this person has distanced yourself from this connection. Sorry, distanced themselves from this connection. If this person is acting a little bit weird, acting a little bit like standoffish kind of energy, not completely in, and that's the reason here. This person is like, this is too good for me. I don't know how to deal with this. This has never happened to me. How am I supposed to just deal with it? You know, it's like this person is overwhelmed with so many good, like this kind of good thing happening. So they are just like, you can't see that. Can I? So they are just, that could be one of the reasons why this person has distanced themselves. But here's the thing, this, this person distancing themselves, it's making them unhappy. They are not happy distancing themselves from you. Because they love you. They have feelings for you. They know that. This person knows that you are the soulmate. Look at that. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups. You can't make that up. They love you. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer. We just saw the Ace of Swords. Yeah. What did I say? That could be one of the reasons this person is being a little standoffish right now. This person could be emotionally closed off. Look at that. Ace of Wands. We just saw the Ace of Cups. When cards repeat itself, like look at that. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Yeah. Look at that. We have the Ace of Wands as well as the Ace of Cups here. We already have three Aces. And I have hardly pulled out any cards here. Three aces. This person really wants you. Emotionally, mentally, this person is very uh, attracted to you. Emotionally, this person is very attracted to you. And physically, of course. Because the empress. They love your, I don't know, I heard they love your curves. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I heard. So yeah. Could be dealing with Scorpio, but see that that's the thing here. This person knows that. Okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck. This person knows the truth. They know they are going to be happy with you. They know they want you. They know it. But this person is too scared to open up. They are too scared to give into this. They are too scared of getting hurt. They are too scared of bad things happening to them. It's very possible this person has experienced a lot of bad stuff in their life. Like things kept falling apart in this person's life. And it doesn't even have to be romantically like things in their life in general. Like good things don't happen to this person. Or this person hasn't experienced good things in a while. It's been more than a while. It's been more than a minute that this person has experienced something good in their life. Something good happening. For some of you, this person actually could be going through major awakening major changes in their life like uh, this connection came out of nowhere unexpected it hit them hard and now they can't uh, now they can't believe that this is happening but yeah for some of you this person is going through major transformation they could be walking away from a job another situation another relationship another marriage something something this person is walking away from something that is falling apart in this person's life and out of nowhere you are there in the life as well so it's like this person is overwhelmed by a lot of things here yeah, for some of you, this person is going through an awakening. Also with the tower, this person is very afraid of losing you. Again, that energy of they're very afraid of things not working out. They're very afraid of losing you. What if this doesn't work out? Because this is someone who's a very emotional kind of a person. That's what I'm getting with the two of swords. I'm very focused on the amount of water, you know, behind her or him, whatever. Uh, but yeah. 
But look at the amount of water there. This person is very emotional kind of person, and they're just afraid if they give all, like they give all of themselves, is what I heard. What if it falls apart then? How do they fix themselves after that? How do they uh, rebuild their life again? How do they do it? This person feels like if they give all in, like they go all in in this connection, in this relationship, and then it doesn't work out, they will never be able to completely recover from this ever. No matter who they are with, even if they find a great person again, they will not be able to recover from this. And that is what is scaring this person. Okay. All right. Let me just move this here. Okay. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. I could be dealing with fixed signs. Star, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, King of Wands. You're very attracted to this person. You're observing this person, watching this person. For some of you, you might have deep abandonment issues. Six of Cups. We saw the Six of Cups in this person's energy and your energy. This is a very, this is a soulmate connection. This is a very strong connection for some of you. This is a past life soulmate you're meeting again. Things were unfinished in the past life. You want to finish things up this time. Not finish things up, but you know, like finish the story. You know what I mean. Could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, but yeah. You see this connection as something to be des like it's a sort of like a destined, like you are fated to meet this person, destined to meet this person. Things are supposed to happen in this connection. It's meant to be, especially in this particular deck. The Wheel of Fortune literally is, uh, like look at the imagery. It's like a king and a queen coming together, celebrating. Nothing else matters. So yeah. You feel, uh, you see this person as someone like, there's something about this person, something about this connection. Uh, this might have felt like a very, uh, like things move pretty easily in this connection. You just, you don't have to force this connection. This is one of those connections where you didn't have to force anything. But it's just like, you have abandonment issues for some of you. This person is very afraid of, they're afraid of being happy. So you do have your past traumas and issues, but it's like things are still going to move in this connection. This is one of those connections. Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is Six of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two and Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in the mix. We already saw Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Cups. So this is the fourth Ace in the mix here. Chariot, you know this person wants you. Look at that. They see, they see you as the Empress. You see them as the Emperor, the Chariot. You both know that this is the kind of connection that is very strong, and you both are very equal to each other. In, in, an, in, in whatever way you feel they are equal to you. Like, it's, it's like some sort of, this is the divine feminine, divine masculine. Right, so that's how you see this person. But for some of you, you know this person is holding back emotionally. Finances could be an issue with this person here. For some of you, this person might be financially struggling. As I said, with the tower, this person is leaving certain things in their life. They could be leaving a job, looking for something new. Maybe they were working in a workplace that was very toxic and they are leaving that behind. So anyways, so yeah. But here's the thing. You do know that this person is someone who is very hardworking or um, someone who is very collaborative kind of a person. For some of you, you might be a little scared of opening up to this person because like you just want to be sure. You might not be completely sure whether this person is really into you. And that's because this person is in the two of swords energy. They are emotionally closed off. And you know, for some of you, you know that this person is emotionally holding back. Let 
Yeah, six of pentacles. And look at that, the ace of wands again. And the six of cups. You see this person as someone with whom you can have that equal give and take kind of a relationship or connection. You see that with this person here. Okay. Ten of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles again. Hmm. Okay. You might be stressing a little bit because you feel a connection with this person. You know there's a lot of potential here, but since this person is a little like uh, being standoffish kind of energy, a little closed off, you might be stressing about what this person is feeling. For some of you, you have, again, that abandonment issue is coming up with this Ten of Wands. Fear of rejection, fear of being left behind, fear of being abandoned. That could be something that is really um, stressing you. For some of you, what I'm getting also with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, you might have been in relationships or connections where there was, like, the equal give and take was missing. The reciprocity was missing. You have been in relationships or connections like that. Doesn't even have to be romantic relationships, relationships, maybe in friendship even. You are the one who was giving more. So because you have been in connections or relationships like that, you might be a little afraid that the history might repeat itself. So that could be something that is making you uh, feel a little, well, I wanted to say afraid or scared, but I got nervous. Knight of Cups. You have romantic feelings for this person, but you are afraid that what if history repeats itself? Oh, wow. Look at that. Two of Cups. This is the second time you're seeing the Two of Cups here. Sorry, the third time you're seeing the Two of Cups. You have very deep feelings for this person. This person has deep feelings for you. Yeah, but see, you're afraid. This connection is going to be a very transformative kind of a connection. You could already be going through a transformation. This person is going through a major tower moments. You are going through a major transformation. That's when you both meet each other. So you both are not prepared for this connection. You both didn't see this connection like coming out of nowhere. It's like out of the blue, this connection hits you. So yeah, it's being it's this connection is going to bring up your insecurities. This this connection is going to force you to um, deal with those demons. Okay. So you are afraid with the moon. Nine of Wands, the Emperor. Wow, look at that. Empress and the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. It's going to take you some time. Uh, you are willing to put your guards down for this person. You are willing to invest in this co uh, connection, put your guards down and give be vulnerable in this connection, but it's going to take you some time here because you are afraid with the moon. The moon coming out, that's like illusions. That's like fear. Especially if you uh, are someone who has dealt with a lot of uh, connections or relationship where you have felt, look again, five of pentacles, that's what I'm seeing, abandoned, a scared mindset. Not scared mindset, scarcity mindset. But yeah, look at that. You both are complementing each other throughout the reading.
Ace of Swords. Yeah. They want to talk. They want to communicate. This person wants to open up. Look at that. We have the Ace of Swords repeated twice in this person's energy. You can't see that, can you? Yeah, now you can. Ace of Swords repeated twice. This person knows the truth and they they will tell you the truth. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They want this. They want this commitment. They want this relationship. But are they afraid? Yes. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Especially if you're dealing with uh, Scorpio or uh, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is extremely um, scared. If you're dealing with another Air Sign, this person is scared. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. They're very scared. But do they want this? Yes, they do. This person is overcoming their fears though. Look at that star. As I said, they are overcoming their fears. Yeah, the devil at the bottom of the deck. Whatever is holding this person back from giving to this connection, uh, like giving fully, being committed to this connection, this person is trying to heal that. This is someone who knows what is holding them back. They are aware of it. Three major arcanas, they are aware of it. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or an Aquarius. The devil card doesn't seem like a very toxic energy here. It's not. This is simply someone who is willing to heal themselves, willing to work themselves because they want this connection, because they want this relationship or commitment. This is not someone who's going to run away the moment a problem arises or the moment they need to uh, change themselves, work on themselves. They are not going to run away. This is someone who's very dedicated to healing themselves, being better for themselves, not for this connection, not for you, but for themselves. And that's what you need in a person. They're willing to work on themselves. They're willing to go in, look at themselves. Okay. Come on. This person might have been someone who was uh, commitment phobic in the past. They might not have been someone who has been in a uh, proper commitment, proper relationship. Uh, they have avoided that. They might have had uh, partners or flings or situationships, but they were never in a proper commitment or relationship. For some of you, that is. They have feelings. Queen of Cups. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. This is someone. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. They will talk. They will communicate. In fact, this person is pretty um, excited or desperate in a way to talk to you, to communicate with you. They are watching. They always watch you. This person is someone who is always going to watch you. Even in a room full, full of people, this person will watch you. That's the sort of uh, person. Like it's it's not even like watching. This is someone who will observe. They like observing. But yeah, they have a lot to say here. This person has a lot to say to you. Whatever they are holding back from saying, they they have a lot to say. But first, this person knows they have to heal themselves as well. Nine of Wands, yeah. Ten of Nine of Wands in reverse in your energy. Nine of Wands here. Knight of Wands. This person is going to slowly start opening up, very slowly. They are going to be emotionally re, uh, guarded, emotionally very careful here. So it's like someone who is 
going to carefully like not carefully but someone who's going to talk to you look at that ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck they're going to be very careful small baby steps like micro baby steps that's how this person is going to uh, proceed here they're not going to be completely emotionally vulnerable or just uh, you know word vomit they're not going to do that Ten of Swords, World, Ace of Pentacles. See, the Ace of Pentacles did come out. For some of you, this person either look at the Ten of Swords and Three of Swords. So we do have the Seven of Swords in the mix. Either you have been betrayed horribly in the past or this person has been betrayed horribly in the past. Or you both of, both of you have been. So this is going to be a slow process here. But look at that, the World and the Ace of Pentacles. A new chapter, a new beginning in love. It's going to happen. But it's going to happen very slowly. There's going to be, you are a little bit defensive. This person is defensive. You both are working on it, but the defensiveness doesn't go away in a day. So it's going to be a very slow process. It's going to happen. Knight of Pentacles, as I said, very slow. Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there is growth here. There's going to be growth here in this connection. Page of Swords, there is going to be communication as well. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, but that's the thing again, very slow moving. This is like going to be a slow burn kind of a connection. But that's that's the good thing. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles is someone you can trust. Someone who's going to take things slow, slowly but steadily. Things are going to happen. Things are going to unfold. Things are going to move in this connection. Okay. I forgot to see what was at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I failed to give you what you need, neglected. Hmm. This person knows that uh, you might be feeling neglected by them right now. And I failed to give you what you need. This person knows you're waiting for some sort of clarity or truth. So yeah, this person is afraid. That they're afraid that you might be feeling neglected by them. And that's the reason why the Eight of Cups is here. This person feels they're afraid that they're not giving you what you want right now, which is the truth, which is commitment, uh, clarity. And that might make you walk away, walk out of this. So this person is fearing that you might feel like they, you, they are neglecting you. Yeah, reciprocity. I want to have equal give and take. Responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. Yeah. I did say finances could be an issue with this person here or in this connection. So yes. They will have they have some responsibilities they need to take care of. Financially, this person might not be in a position they, they want to. They might feel like they can't give you exactly everything that you want or are looking for.
Yeah, somehow this person feels like they are not being able to meet your financial or emotional needs. Like they can't take care of you the way they want to. All right. Well, that's your reading, Gemini. I hope you found some clarity to this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.